news. I just convinced Mitch Morrison to stick with us. Ah, oh, fantastic. How did you do that? Well, it turns out that he just got back from a trip to Budapest. <gasps> and you used your royal charm, didn't you? I did my very best. He carries a lot of influence, and he's agreed to convince the other investors to stay on board. Oh. Count Merrick, what would I do without you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ms. English? Yes. Here's the necklace you won. Congratulations. Oh, uh, there has to be some mistake. I, I didn't bid on this. Oh, my God. Adam must have done this. Uh, of all of the items, this is the only one I really wanted. How, how, how could I not love a man who knows me so well? Care for a nightcap? <laughs> how are you not exhausted? The night is young. <laughs> <laughs> well. We have to be at the office first thing tomorrow. So we we've done enough work for one day. We may have averted a disaster tonight, but we have a lot of nerves that need calming. So I'm going to get out of these shoes and get into bed. All right, then. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's Adam. He says he doesn't know why I thanked him for the necklace. He, he never put a bid on it. Adam wasn't there when I saw the necklace, but you were. Dimitri. <laughs> what a lovely gesture. Why didn't you say anything? It, it didn't matter where it came from, as long as you had it. can't. I love Adam. I'm sorry. It's been a long night, and we're tired. Just forget that this ever happened. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. Do we? You said some pretty ugly things last night. Oh, and wasn't the timing uncanny that my father just happened to come right in there? I didn't even know that Adam was in town. <laughs> of course you didn't. JR, I know how hard you worked on that presentation, and I'm very sorry that things went wrong, but I don't get exactly why you're angry with me. It was awfully convenient of you to have your own presentation ready to go. <sighs> it
If you're implying that there was something underhanded about my having a backup reel, you are absolutely wrong. It was good business. It's called redundancy. And what happened to my presentation is called sabotage. You know, I actually checked with the tech a half an hour before that file was supposed to go up, and it was perfectly fine. You had no intention, did you, Brooke, of letting me shine last night? Where is this paranoia coming from? If you think that I am that foolish, that I would risk losing our investors that we invited there last night in order to, to what, humiliate you for some reason? Yes, absolutely I do, if, if it meant that you can get rid of me once and for all, sure. Well, then you need serious psychological help. No, what I need is for you to get your claws out of my family's business. Maybe you should cool down before you say something really stupid. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where your big watchdog was. You know what? Does my father have any idea how much time you guys have been spending together in and out of the office? <clears throat> you can self-destruct all you want, but don't you dare try to pull Brooke down into the mud with you. I don't have to. The two of you are doing a fine job of that all by yourselves. Not sure you're gonna like this one, but... Well, you're not gonna like this either. But I... I have to give this back. Uh, it was a gift. Yes, and it was a very kind and thoughtful gift. You like that necklace. I did. I do. I just... I just can't accept it. Because of Adam. Well, actually, yes. Uh, I'm committed to him, you know, and if I accept this from you, it that really goes against what he and I have together. Uh, that was never my intention. I, I know that. I know that. You know, and I take partial responsibility. After all, when people work together, I think sometimes it's very easy for the lines to become blurred. And, uh, you know, if I were unattached. But you're not. And I was wrong to cross that line. Thank you for understanding. Well, I wish I could change the subject with something more upbeat. Oh, so what? I got a call uh, just before you came in. It's not good news. Both Callaway and Larson weren't swayed by Mitch Morrison. They didn't come out and say it, but I believe that uh, JR's meltdown has them reconsidering their investments. Oh, damn. What do you want to do? Well, I don't want to give up. I think we should start working on, on them individually, and if we can, you know, bring one back, maybe the other one will reconsider. Full court press. All right, I'll start working on it, but uh, I want you to know they're both being wooed by Cortec. Why would they be going from online media into med tech? Yeah, they gotta put their money someplace. You know, Pete Cortland's a smart kid, and Hayward, he's slicker than an oil spill. They also don't have someone like JR sabotaging their company. Morning. It would be a better morning if we could rally our investors. <laughs> I do have an idea for a new investment strategy. So it's a brighter morning already. Mm -hmm. I come in peace. What can I do for you? Uh, well, I'd like to apologize for accusing you of corrupting the file. I was out of line. More likely out of your mind. You know, I let the heat of the moment get the best of me, and I was blinded by my own anger. I made a mess of things with Chandler Media, and I'd like to make it up to you. you you've done enough, Jay. I'd like to offer smooth things over with the investors. You know, let them know that I I made a lot of mistakes, you know, but we're a team and I, I'm ready to work my ass off again. That's very considerate of you. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too late. Because if you're misunderstanding, the rest of the investors have pulled out. I thought Mitch Morrison was going to talk to them. He joined them. Mitch and the others have decided it's a better bet to invest in Cortec. It's a totally different kind of investment. Yeah, and, and one that they feel safer with. Yeah, it's ironic, isn't it? 
Palmer Cortland's son is a genius at running his father's company. Adam Chandler's son seems to have a genius for screwing things up. Dimitri. I deserve that. Look, I had a very big opportunity. I admit that, and I blew it. But I promise you, it is not going to happen again. You're damn right it won't. JR, you're still getting your sea legs. There's more than enough time for us to figure out the way that you can make a contribution to the company. Great. Thank you. I want nothing more than be an asset to Chandler. This, uh, this turnaround on Brooke corrupting that file, you have any idea who did it? I have my suspicions. Care to share? Well, you know, I think I've taken more than enough of your time today. You guys have a good morning. Thank you. Set up a production meeting for the DC interview. Brooke, production meeting. Oh, yes, of course. All right, all right. This has got to stop. Two words, sentences, minimal communication. Now, I know we weren't going to talk about it, but I think we have to. It shouldn't have happened. It did. <sighs> then can we just move past it? We have a lot of work to do. Brooke, we have been in each other's lives for years. It's not a whim on my part. We've been friends. Do you get how beautiful you are? Dimitri. No, no, that, that sparkle. When you got a new idea. Your laugh. That wicked sense of humor. I want that. I, I want all of that, Brooke. I'm with Adam. Then why isn't he here with you? He would be here if he could. If a woman like you loved me, I wouldn't be halfway around the world sending uh, flowers and apologies. Well, he has a company that he's trying to rebuild. <laughs> when I am with you, I have these feelings. Feelings that I thought were dead. When we almost kissed, in that moment, you felt it too. I knew you did. I'm sorry, Demetria. I love Adam. I believe in, you know, honesty, but you have, you've put me in a difficult position. I'm not going to apologize for telling you how I feel. The kiss? Well, have you ever known me to sit back and let life happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> you've always gone for the gusto, but, you know, look where that's left me. I've lost investors, and now I may lose a... A valuable employee. Whew, Brooke, I never expected this to happen, but it has. Do you want me to leave? No, I just want things to go back to the way they were. I think that we are amazing partners professionally. And I think the two of us can take Chandler out of this mess and make it bigger and better than it ever was. We just have to leave all the rest at the door. Mm, pretend nothing's happened. Nothing has to change. I mean, what happened isn't a problem unless we let it be. I'm willing to forget the whole thing. Are you? That was a hell of a kiss. <laughs> OK. <laughs> if that's what you want, you've got it. Partners?